Okay. Herbie, I guess you have not started. Are you going to start the cloud recording? All right, I guess not. So let's just go ahead and get started. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the iBug introductory Mac training course for Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. We are on our second to last lesson. Today we'll be getting our beginning today we will be beginning our two-part series on mail. And then we will conclude at the end of the month. Uh, November 23rd will be our final meeting, and that will be Mac and Talk. So before we uh, get on with the program tonight, just a reminder to everyone to check out our website, ibugtoday.org, our Facebook, which is facebook.com uh, slash groups slash ibugtoday and our Twitter at iBug Today. As far as our events this week, we have our Vila Book Club taking place on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. They'll be discussing the book Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. On Friday is iBug Night at the Virtual Movies, beginning at 7.30 with the pre-movie social, followed by the movie at 8, which is something called Adam's Rib, and a discussion afterward. Then on Sunday, we have our iBug Monthly Cafe from 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Um, all these events are on Zoom, by the way, and the topic for this month is holiday shopping apps, and these are um, iOS, so definitely come to any and all of those events. Okay, now we are going to go through a few questions for the text edit uh, lesson last week, and then we will move on to mail. All right, so my first question, what are some advantages of using text edit uh, versus pages or Word? Would anyone like to answer that? All right. Well, basically, I just mentioned how. Okay. So basically, I mentioned that text edit is a simpler interface. And so you can have the advantage of a word processor and still, you know, not have so much to contend with um, and just learn your basic text editing and navigation and all that good stuff. Okay, um, how do you enable doc or docs files to always open in text edit instead of pages or Word? All right, Let can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. This is doc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can do a, either go into the context menu or go into a, do a alt I for info. Yep, very good. And then yeah. you you would go over to you would you would write be a right arrow till you get to open with. Mm -hmm. Or as you had mentioned later, demonstrated later, we could, you could actually do a find command to jump over to there. Excellent. And give it and tell it how to do that. Yeah, I was looking doing some of that early this morning, and. I, it brought up a question because I wondered if there was a, have you run across an app that does a bulk conversion Ooh. from one type to another? They have one in Windows that I use because I had to use it because I went to, because the project I've been working on that, so I could have a reason for using the Mac, all the, all the files had been in text ah. and i and i use this it's, it's called multi-convert and it allowed me to switch everything to rtf and then i had a chance to go through and check out some of the other features when i worked on my new chapter okay i don't know if there's a program like that for mac but actually a few months ago you know, I was also looking for kind of a batch conversion. So that's an excellent thing. If you can save that for Macintosh or 
one of Herbie's clubs, that was a really good question that, um, and I'll have to look into it myself. Um, there's definitely, you could, I know of websites you could go to to convert file formats, but um, yeah, no, that's an excellent question. So let's see, what is the command to create a new document? Anyone want to answer that? Donna. Darryl. Yes, Donna. Command N. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Name some of the commands to read and navigate text. All right. All well, right. you could. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. This is Doc again. You can do option right or left arrow to move by word. Of course, you can use your left and right arrows to move by character. The ones that I hadn't known about was the option up and down arrow. Uh, well, let's see. To move by paragraph. paragraph. Uh -huh. and, and what I noticed was that it takes you to the beginning, the first six line. But uh, the one I have forgotten, it was, wasn't there one for that where it would actually read the, the whole paragraph? Yes. VOP reads the paragraph. VOS reads the sentence. Sentence, VOL is the line. Yep. Excellent. And then, let's see. Oh, option, not option, but command. Left or right arrow takes you to the beginning of the or end of a line. Yep. And up, a command up or down takes you to the top or the bottom of the document. Excellent. Very good. Okay. What modifier key do you add to the text reading and navigation commands to select text? So I talked about selecting the previous or next word, line. So what command do you add to the reading commands to select text? This is Judy. Yeah, Judy, go ahead. The shift. Excellent. Yeah. Great. OK, where are text alignment options found? Or what are some of the keyboard commands you can use to left align, center? Um, just format text. All right. Well, they are in the text edit um, under format, and then there's a submenu called text. And fortunately for all of you, my Braille display froze as it has had a propensity of doing lately. And so no more questions. Well, <laughs> we can, well, we can certainly pull them up in my other, my Would you file. like me to pull them up and pick some at random? Uh, well, you can if you want, or we, we actually have oh, let's, about. Let's, let's finish that part right there. What? The in the text in the text sub menu that you just mentioned, yeah, you have command right and left bracket for for left or right justifying. Mm -hmm. You have command shift, which uh, and the backslash which changes that to the vertical, so you can center justify. Oh, yeah, that's right. Excuse, excuse me, center. Yep. You have your command B for bold, command I for italics. Um, Very good. Is it, is it command shift W for the word wrap? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't use that one. I think so. That that sounds right, though. Yeah. Um, All right, now can anybody tell us what is the purpose of text edit preferences? Can you list the options and then you can add? <laughs> I 
wasn't even going to give them that question. I put little stars by the ones I was going to give them. <laughs> Well, but it, but that's the, the question of your TA, enough. so there you go. I haven't been hit on the head hard enough because I'm not seeing any stars. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, the stars are in my Braille you, file. Anyway. You can, you can correct that for a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> but preferences gives you a chance to set other features, such as attributes. It yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh. it also gives you a chance to go in and change a plain text to RTF and vice versa. Yeah, actually, you can also do that in the format menu. Um, so you can, so the, the preferences basically are kind of like defining a template for new documents. Um, that's mainly what we, whereas... Um, other things, you can change some things on the fly in the format menu and whatever, but if you just want yep. preferences for a new document um, that's, or you want all documents to use a certain font and have a certain, you know, be plain text or rich text, that's what you use the preferences for. So yes, very good. What is the difference between save and save as? How do you make save as show in the menu? Donna. Yeah, Donna. Um, <clears throat> so when you save a file with, uh, is it Command S? Uh huh. Um, you save it as it is, the current document name, and it'll save it to your last folder. When you go to save as, it gives you the opportunity to change the document name as well as where you're going to save it to. Yep, that's correct. Uh, the first time, the very first time you save it, save will kind of behave like save as, but then future okay. times, yeah, the best way to save it with a new format and in a different place and all that, that's save as. So, excellent. And to answer Mr. Herbie's question, <laughs> in, your, in your teaching last week, you had taken this through the menu and you got down to where it said duplicate. And stated mm -hmm. that if you hold down the option key before hitting enter on duplicate, that would bring you into the save as. Yep, very good. All right, so I think we are now, it's, I think we're ready to move on to mail. And let's share. Um, you have started computer audio share. All right, you so today with computers. mail. Sound. I want to just go through, instead of, normally, yes, we'd go through the process of adding accounts, but I figure by this time in the course, everyone has been using mail. They've even been using it before starting the course. And so what we really want to do is just come up, you know, with some good ways of moving around, reading messages, replying to messages, some basic tasks that you're probably already doing but it will be kind of review or, oh, I didn't realize you could do it this way or something of that sort. So anyway, I'm going to open mail by going to my doc with VOD, doc. Ma MA, and pressing enter. Must. System dialog. You are shared mail, inbox, Chanel 192 messages, 50 unread oh, window, messages, table. Maybe I should slow my speech rate down a little bit. I, this is my regular account, so let's do that. 60%, 55%, 50%. All right. Um, I know we normally have it at 45, but I think you are able to probably work with 50. So the first thing we are going to do is just go back and look at what's here in the mail window. Close button. As always, if we go to VO Command Home, we have our close. Minimize. Full screen. Inbox. Chanel. 100. Inbox. Okay. Full screen. And for some reason. Hide toolbar. Normally close. you'll Minimize. have the toolbar there. Inbox. Sh mailboxes. Table. Vertical splitter, mailboxes, or inbox, Chanel, show there. toolbar, there toolbar, go. mailboxes. Okay, yours is probably showing. Mine, I generally hide the toolbar. So if Tool you go, one inbox, Chanel. Um, you have the name of the current mailbox that's open. A mailbox is also known as a folder. They're used um, on the Mac. Instead of being called folders, they're called mailboxes. 192 so. messages, 50 unread. Okay, I didn't realize I had 50 unread, but anyway... 
you have the title of the window and then it can show you how many messages are unread in the current um, mailbox that has focus. You can also do, if you ha have your keyboard commander on, you can do option U to get your unread message count. 119 unread messages. And it's giving me the message count, I guess, for all of my inboxes. Um, that's assuming you have still, you have the right option you set is your unread message count. Okay, so then if we continue on. Toolbar. You have your toolbar. I'll just interact in here in and toolbar. show you what's here. But what, everything that's in the toolbar you can access in the menus or with keyboard commands as has always been the case with all the pro programs we've gone into. Filter, group, get mail, new message, archive button, D delete button, dimmed, junk button, reply button, dimmed, reply all button, forward button, flag red button, dimmed, flag all menu, these are menu button, because dimmed, there's no flag, message in dimmed, focus. more toolbar items, pop up button, search button, search, search. All right, and that's the end of the toolbar. I'm going to Out of toolbar, mailboxes, table. Chanel, 50 unread. Select. Okay, next we have our mailboxes table. And I'm going to give you, I'll show you about getting around that in a little bit. Basically, you have uh, what are called the universal or joint mailboxes, such as inbox, sent, drafts, archive. And then you have mailboxes for each account. So let's actually go into our messages. Vertical split messages table. And if I want to go to the top, which it's great that doc reviewed the text edit commands because, yeah, you go to the top of a document with command up arrow. In the finder, you move to the top of your file list with option up arrow, the bottom with option down arrow. In mail, you combine those two. So to go to the first message, it's command option up arrow. Sugar. ACB Diabetics, how to bring high blood sugar down fast. And Seven. to go to your very last message, command option down arrow. Folding at home. Folding at home. Okay, so I'm going to do command option up arrow. Sugar. ACB Diabetics, how to okay. bring high blood sugar down fast. 17, 46. How to bring high blood sugar down fast. So Diabetes strong everyone. Doing, with we are hearing the subject and then we hear a little bit of the preview. There are a couple of ways to read messages on the Mac. You may be familiar with using VOJ to go from, which we can do that. We could use VOJ to go from our mailboxes to our the messages in our inbox and then to the message itself. I don't like that method. Diabetes is both. Oops, I, okay, accidentally pressing stray keys on my keyboard. If what I want to do is a different method of reading. But I'm just going to arrow through here. Freedom Scientific Blog. New Leo Beto. Our Duolingo. Warning sign. Five message and conversation. Collapsed. Pete Vasto. Paul I'll show Edwards, you how to deal library with the thread. Talk. I happen to know that all of these messages are unread. But we are not hearing the word unread uh, before the from and the subject and all that good stuff. So the reason that we're not is because the messages are opening up in a little pane to the right-hand side of the messages table. Sugar, ACB. So if I was to, so I went back to the top of my table with command option up arrow. If I was to via right. Vertical splitter. We have that vertical splitter and there's always going to be vertical splitters dividing tables from the contents or, you know, sidebars from whatever. So you have a couple of vertical splitters in mail that just kind of divide the screen up. And so we do have one. So if we veal right again, sugar, new line. We How are actually blood sugar down. in a the message. And so I generally don't like to have that shown because if it is shown, it will mark the message as unread. So just as a review, we're in that message if we veal left. Vertical splitter. We're at the vertical splitter if we veal left again. Messages, table, sugar, ACB diabetics. We are, you know, we could down arrow. Freedom scientific blog, new post. And then we could veal right. Vertical splitter, freedom scientific blog, and new line. get new to line. the subject. And you can also do VOJ to do the same thing. VOJ just interacts you in the content. But... I don't really, you know, I find it just as easy to press enter and read a message that vertical way. Split. So I'm going to collapse this vertical splitter. Yours may say horizontal splitter. 
Um, it may not say the exact same thing as mine, but the important thing is to collapse it. And we do that by interacting with VO shift down In arrow. vertical splitter. And I am going to, what I now need to do is take this vertical splitter to 100%. It's very counterintuitive, but here we 31, go. 31, 36, 41, 46, 51, 56, 61, 62, 100, 100%. And if I uninterrupt. Out vertical splitter. And then I VO left. Messages, table. And VO Freedom, right. Vertical splitter collapsed on right. It's now, if I VO right again. Vertical, vertical split. There, we have gotten rid of it. So now what I want to do is I'm message, going vertical, to messages, table. go to the top of my table again with command option up Sugar, arrow. AC. And I'm now, when we go, we're going to arrow down until we actually come to an unread message. Freedom Science, Leo Beta, Duolingo, five mess, Paul Edwards, unread, Paul Edwards, unread, Grammarly, unread, Julie Ta, unread. F and F notice what? these are still staying unread. Um, the other messages up there I knew were unread. unread. We did not hear Julie that Ty. because they opened in that pane. Unread. Grammarly. These, unread. as I'm pressing up arrow. Unread. Grammarly. Unread. I'm pressing Julie. down arrow. They're still managing to stay as unread. Okay. Sugar. So what are some things that we can actually do with a message? So the way to figure out or the way to take action on a message is you can look in the context menu. So you have a message in focus and then you can do VO shift M menu. and then down arrow. Open, send again, reply, reply all, forward, forward as attachment, redirect, mark as unread, move to junk, mute, delete, flag, archive. Flag. Okay. Interactive. Flag is interactive because you can choose a, just like in the finder, you can choose, you know, a flag. Archive. Move to recovered messages. Chanel. Move to submit. Copy to sub open. And then we're back at the beginning. Messages. Um, the other thing we can do. So if you want to know what keyboards correspond with these actions, what keyboard commands, you go to the message menu. Menu bar. Apple. So we're still going to our menu bar with VOM. Mail. File. Right arrowing over edit. to message. You. Mailbox, message, and down arrow, message, menu, send again, command, shift, D, reply, command, R, reply, all, command, shift, R, forward, command, shift, F, forward as attachment, redirect, command, shift, E, mark as unread, command, shift, U, move to junk, command, shift, J, mute, control, shift, M, flag, submenu, set priority, and submenu. And we pretty much have the same things. Okay, so I'm going to press escape. Messages, table. And now let's actually go through and read one of these messages. Freedom so, Sugar, ACB, Freedom Scientific, um, Leo ben, Duolingo, Warning 5, Message, know. Paul let's Edward, Unread, Paul Edward, Unread, Grammarly, Unread, Julie Ty, Unread, let's F, F Webinars, okay. ACVREP Credits Heading Your Way, 13. This APH Webinars. So we could press Enter to open the message. F Webinars, ACVREP Credits Heading Your Way, Chanel, All Mail, Window, Toolbar. View this email in your browser. Access Academy is the education professional's one-stop resource for the training webinars you need to get the most out of F products and services. Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay. So if we want to, we can still take the same text navigation, you know, command up arrow, then read with the, you know, up and Cap, down arrows, v, all that good line, stuff. Heading level one, F webinars image, heading level two, Access Academy image. And, um, you know, if you want to, let's say we want to find a link well we could do vo command l that takes us to links or you could turn on your quick nav if you wanted to academy for certification of vision rehabilitation and education professionals link and then you could press vo space to activate the link safari web content 90 percent loaded and there we go okay I'm just going to command Q to quit. quit. Empty dimmed scroll area. And I'm going Mail. to press F web. So we could either delete the message here, which I'm just going to do because I'm not really interested in this right now. So I'll press delete. Messages table unread. Cindy Hollis. Is and we are taken back to the inbox. Another cool thing you can do in the inbox is let's say you know who a message is from. Um, I could press, well, I know there's this one ACB community email. It was sent out by Colby Garrison, so I can type KO. Colby Garrison, ACB community events, Tuesday schedule, and yesterday. And let's Hello. say I wanted to forward this to somebody. So I could open the message to forward it, or I could just do Command-Shift-F right here in my um, 
message list. Forward, forward, ACB community events. And I'm just going to show you briefly how the forwarding works. So I'm going to type in Herbie. I know he's already gotten it, but he can have a second copy. Right, right. So here we go. Herbie. All right. And that has put in his name. If I type in more of his name, it will try to read me uh, more email addresses. And I'll show you how to select things for contact in a little bit. We'll just press enter. Embedded. Herbie. And then to deliver a message, we can press command shift D. That is, if you think of D for deliver, that'll help you remember um, that weird command a little bit more easily. Send inbox Chanel 191. And oddly enough, it does not make that swoosh sound here, but it's the same as the sound for sending a message on your iPhone. All right, and so what else can Four message we conversation do? collapsed. The other Unread. thing to look Karen, at, Lori and Barry, buying and downloading Amazon Music on the Mac. Threads. Yesterday, I was finally able to find the album I was looking for on Amazon. I type. All right, so we can expand a thread with the right arrow. Row twenty-five expanded, and then we can view the individual messages. So unread, Karen Llewellyn. Yesterday. Hi, a slight idea, if the item is already in your history. Granted, I am not using your tools, but sometimes visiting... And control to stop. So one thing I like, there's a couple options in the view menu that determine um, whether... So even though we collapse the pane that's to the right, we collapse the vertical splitter, because we have something called a use column layout unchecked, we're actually hearing some of the message. So if you want then to open this part of a thread, you could press enter... Regarding buying and downloading Amazon Music on the Mac, right. Chanel. So Omer. we're done. We've read it. So Command W to close. close. Inbox Chanel 191 messages. All right. Um, let's say I actually four message. Okay, so I can collapse the thread with the left arrow. Expand Row 25 it with the expanded. Right arrow. Go 25 with collapsed. the left arrow. That is pretty much the theme in mail. You're in the messages list and the mailboxes list. You're expanding Row and you're 25 collapsing. Collapsed. Um, Colby Garrison. So ACB. let's say I wanted to read this other email. I could press enter. ACB community events, Tuesday schedule, Chanel, all mail, window. And if you're going to, some me messages use headings. Um, and so I have found it easier to, rather than turn on quick nav, just do VO command H. Heading level two, Tuesday, November 9th. Let's two, say, heading level three, um, three items. ACB Presence, Heading Level let's 3, see. Neighborhood Call, Heading Level 3, ACB History Book Discussion Group, 1 p.m. ET, okay. 10 a.m. PT, 8 a.m. HT. So my first response here would be to just use down arrow, and then I would, you know, continue to read more of the email. So I'm showing you this to kind of show you a little bit of a quirk. That actually doesn't do, it. if we press down arrow here, it would start from the top. But if we use our safari behaviors if we do via right or if your quick nav is on right arrow we will continue reading and discussing chapters 1 7 in francis a kessler's the unseen that is actually so if we do via left heading level three acb history book discussion group and then via one, right we will continue reading and discussing chapters 1 7 in francis a kessler if, so that actually helps us to read things um, more continuously if you're going to use heading link navigation whatever then you'll want to use via right and via left if your quick nav is off or left and right if it's on. So I'm going to close this message. Close. Inbox. Chanel 191 messages. All right. Let's say I want to move this message. So there are a couple of easy ways of moving a message. One thing I like to do, well, I used to love to have certain mailboxes as favorites that would show in the favorites bar. And then I would, so if you, let's say my iBug Mac training folder was number one in, excuse window. me, was Ma number one in my favorites. I could press um, control one to m automatically move that message there. And you can still do that a little bit in um, Big Sur and Monterey. If you take messages or if you take mailboxes out of the favorites, then they become no longer available in the list of mailboxes. And so unfortunately, I can't have my favorites bar as customizable as I would wish. But that's okay because there's still another method of moving messages. It's to go into our context menu with VO Shift M. Menu. 
up arrow once. Copy to submenu. And if I was using VO and the arrows, if I so if I entered the menu and just tried to do VO up arrow. Move archive. Well, now it works. Move to submenu. Um, but Message. if I was just to get into the menu, menu and then I do VO up. Menu. 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 I just keep hearing menu, menu, menu. Um, so the nice thing about just using the arrow keys is I can go in either direction. So if I do up arrow, copy to sub menu, I get right to the last item in the menu by using up arrow. Now that I've gotten there, I can use VO up to continue uh, moving through the menu backwards. But let's just go to move to move sub menu. To, then I can right arrow, move to sub menu, all in box. And then let's just say I want to move it to my ACV community. Community emails. So I can type AC, ACB community. Press enter. Unread. Tammy Russo. And it's ACB moved. Crafters Mitzi Kit No So November 27th Project All right. 12. So let's say I just want to delete this. Unread. Um, You're welcome to me. Exclamation mark with exclamation delete. mark. Unread. Zoom. So the Braillist Foundation Master Classes. Reading ebooks and move through here and delete messages, move messages, all that good stuff. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about is Sugar. actually. Well, let's go through the view menu, menu bar, and I'll show you a few things there. View. I'll show you the difference between having use column layout enabled or not. View menu, show tab bar, show all tabs, customize touch bar ellipsis, sort by sub menu. Oh yes, so there's an option in here called sort by, which determines how your messages are sorted. Sort by um, sub menu so attachments. I just down arrow. Check mark date. Mine is sorted by date. Flags. View menu Oops. sort sort by it would menu. Help if I Attach didn't accidentally press other stray keys. Check mark okay. date flags from size subject to unread oldest message on top. Check mark newest message I on top. I prefer with my newest message on top, but if you don't like that, here's where you can change it in the view and sort by menu. Attachments. And I'm now going to view, view left menu sort by sub menu and down arrow filter sub menu. I'll show you how to use the filter in just a little bit. Use column layout. Okay. If I check use column layout, and it will be checked as soon as I press enter. Use column layout checked. And now if I navigate this message list, oh, it does take me out of focus. So if I'm going to VO right. Mailboxes, table, Chanel, and then vertical VO right splitter. again, and VO right messages, again. Messages, table. And command option up column arrow. Column one, row one, column two, row one. Sugar. ACB Diabetics, how to bring high blood sugar down fast. 1746. Okay, and if I want to down arrow again, column I can. One, row two, column two, row two. Freedom Scientific Blog. New post, join us for a webinar on the Ruby 10 registered sign speech. 16, now I have that as well. But anyway, you'll notice that uh, voiceover is definitely more succinct because it's not reading a summary of the message and I'm not sure actually how much of the message it reads. I have set the preview and preferences anywhere from two to five lines that doesn't seem to make a difference. But what's neat about this column view is this is actually a case where you would you might want to column interact. One. I have done everything so far without interacting. There hasn't been a need. But let's say I want to just move through my messages by subject without seeing any of the other columns. I could interact. In messages table. Via right. Status column two. Row one empty cell. Or you know we could just move down the status column. But From let's say sugar. Column find three. The subject row one. Column. Subject. ACB diabetics. How to bring high blood sugar down. Now and I was using via right to move across my columns. Now if I via down. New post. Join us for a webinar on the Ruby 10. Ari Alexa. Play some music. All the Alexa music commands. And there were only, as I do VO down, we're only hearing um, the subject. Warning sign, streak freeze used up. Very ultra, Vario and NVDA. Library talk, don't forget to come and shop on Tuesday topics tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of Library these. talk, don't forget to come and shop on Tuesday topics okay, tonight. Okay, so we have some duplicates. So anyway, um, that's how, you, or maybe you want to move down a date column. Date received. Um, 14, 24. So maybe, maybe you, whatever the case may be, it used to be, and maybe you still can, but you could actually choose the order of the columns if you wanted to hear the date first or the subject first. Out of messages. First. Okay. 
I'm going to now re-enable or uh, whatever, uncheck. I'm now going to uncheck the use column menu layout. Bar, Apple. So I'll go to um, my menu bar with VOM, V, Apple. down arrow. View, menu. It said Apple, but I knew it was view. Type US. Check mark, use column layout. Press enter. Use column layout. And then we've turned it off. Okay, so if I make Mailboxes, sure we get back type, into verticals, my messages, table. messages um, then Unread. Lori McLeod. More on downloading purchased music from Amazon. 1935. A friend of mine told me to go to Amazon. And so there we're starting to hear subjects Sugar. again. Sugar. ACB uh, Freedom Scientist. Leo Beto. Duolingo. Five message. Duolingo. So we Warning did. sign. Streak freeze used up. 1505. Get another streak freeze now to keep your streak no, protected. No, that's quite all Get right. Okay. So anyway, we're back to hearing the message and its summary. Streak freeze. All right. And... Maybe, uh, well, I will later on show you how to search for a specific message. But now let's talk about navigating the mailboxes table. And actually, we didn't finish going through the view menu. There's really nothing else too important there other than hiding and showing the toolbar and hiding and showing favorites. Um, and if you show, I'll just show you what the favorites uh, area looks like. If I do command option shift H, show favorites bar. that actually toggles it. Vertical so splitter, mailboxes, favorites bar, group. If I interact, in favorites bar, group, six items, toggle sidebar button. Here's another way when it means sidebar, it means the mailbox list. The view menu used to say that. Now it just says sidebar. All inboxes, 105, toggle all drafts, to all sent, one, all trash, six, Mac training, spring 2021, dimmed, to Mac training. And it used to be, well, you still can. You could technically rearrange the order of these, um, which ones appear before the others. And if we do a search, we actually, and we want to be able to search all mailboxes, we'll need to have the favorites, favorites. bar showing. But now let's talk mailboxes about table. this mailboxes table. Uh, again, I can go to the top with command option up arrow. All inboxes. And the bottom with command option down Test arrow. Two. Okay, if I go to the top again. All inboxes. We have the all inboxes. And right now, if I, I'm going to collapse it. Row two collapsed. And so um, if we down arrow, all drafts. now we move to all drafts. If I go back up all to all inboxes, inboxes 105 unread. and I expand it with the right arrow, Row two expanded. then we will find Chanel, 38 unread. Um, the messages in mine. Herbie Chanel. Let's say we wanted to look at the messages in Herbie Chanel. Then you could either VOJ or just VO write twice. Vertical sp messages table. David Goldfield. Tech V announced list Microsoft warns of crafty new phishing cyber attack. 11 slash 5 slash 21. VP uh, never There we go. I've got, that's the top Amazon. message. Com. And you could just move through here as you normally would. All right. If let's say Vertical mailbox. I want to go to my uh, Mac training folder. And so rather than arrowing through here painstakingly, I can just type MA. Mac training. And that's all. Down Mac arrow training again. fall 2021. Via right. Vertical splitter. Messages. Table. Iberedge at yahoo.com. Five message conversation. Collapsed. Herbie. Judy Potter via groups. IO. Robert and Cliff. I bug Matt training. Using voice over with the text edit app. 11 slash 2 slash. So there we go. There was our text edit conversation uh, that I've saved from last week. And that's how easy it is. I'm probably using way more words than is actually needed to talk about just moving around finding what you vertical need. Split mailboxes um, table let's go back to the beginning so if i want to do command option up arrow All inboxes um and then you know again we could Chanel, go down Herbie, Chanel, to Herbie, 998 demo comcast all drafts so comcast. those were all of the accounts that i have set up on this computer all drafts we could go to all drafts all sent. we could go One to unread. all sent maybe i like to do that row 11 to figure out if I've sent a specific message and I want to make sure I've sent it from my Chanel account. Chanel, one unread. So there we go. We can uh, find that. We can view Vertical right split twice. messages table. Cindy Hollis. Okay, great. We've read them. That's great. All right. View left Vertical twice. mailboxes table. Go back to the top with command option up arrow. Well, actually, I might want to collapse my all sent, but I can do that by pressing left arrow twice. Once. All sent. 
just to get back to the root folder, which is all sent, and again to collapse it. Row 11 collapsed. I can go to the top with command option up arrow. All inboxes. And be back at my all inboxes, down arrow once. Chanel, 38 Chanel, voila, and we are where we started out. So vertical messages. Perhaps there are other tasks that you do on a regular basis. The next one I'm going to tell you about is composing a message. We forwarded a message, but let's actually send a message. So to, as always, our universal new command is command N, mail, it's for a new message. New message, new message, window, to edit text. Okay, we have a couple of ways of adding people. I happen to like, and I was kind of, Herbie and I were debating, you know, what we should talk about. So technically, if you via write to add contacts button, there's an add contacts button. And if you via space on that button, it opens up a miniature contacts app from which you can uh, choose a person. And I have never really seen a need to use that. I've tried to demo it before. So I'm to just going to do what I normally do, and that is to begin typing the first few letters of someone's name. So let's type in, we'll pick on Herbie again, and we'll type in H. Herbie. E. Herbie. R. By Alan. Herbie. Dot Alan. At G. And that's great if we if that's the address we want to put in for him. But if we down arrow, so he, if I wanted to just put in this default thing that it's come up with, Herbie.Allen at gmail.com. And his email is publicly available. So anyway, we're not giving in away any trade secrets. But if we just press enter, that would put in the default email address that has come up. But if we down arrow. Hernandez Lupita, Herbie Allen, management okay. at 986 MX. Sorry, there was some other name there. It'll it'll do that. Um, it'll try to use. And I have. I never clear out my contacts list. I try to be organized in, the, in other things, but contacts. All right, so if I down arrow again. Herbie Allen, Herbie at 986. All right, so let's say I want to put in this um, Herbie at 986 the mix, so I could press enter. Selection replaced, embedded, and Herbie Allen. And his email address is there. Now, if I wanted to change his address, uh, you're out of luck. No, you're not. You just have to interact with the name and then... Um, it's 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 easier just to if you put in a wrong address it's easier just to you know delete and start over but you can interact and then vo shift um, m to find another address for that person okay uh, let's say so what if you want to add several people so we could add in me so we could type in c c chanel maria H, and l marie allen chanel and i can dot allen arrow at chris stephanos chanel maria actually we'll just Janelle use this dot first address i changed my mind i could do that so i did down arrow then i changed my mind and pressed up arrow so now i'm just back chanel. on selection replaced what Embedded. it came up with okay we could put in sandia and I think her email address is out there as well. Even so, we will be careful. S, S Sue Allen, A, say hi, Sue. press enter before it even. So there we go. You type in somebody's name. You um, Then you press enter and put in somebody else's name. And that's, you know, if you want to send to more than one person. You can also have groups of people. Maybe you've created a contact group or something. So you could begin typing the first few letters of that group and that would also populate um i actually do have if i type in for instance i, I be, rahim galil okay that's not what i want if i down arrow i dash mac dash training at groups dot so you know you can send to an address like that so i could press enter selection replaced embedded. and we're not actually I going to send this message but anyway um let's you can either via write or tab. I'm just going to stick with via write. To add contact CC, edit text. Okay, we have CC and BCC. These fields can be hidden or whatever, turned off and on via the view menu. So if we go to menu view bar, M, Apple. and then V, view. and then um, view menu. I'll just down there to open the menu. If I do CC. Cut check mark, CC address field. If I, so it's saying check mark, so it's check. Check mark, BCC address That's field command option. That's also showing, but, um, and that also has a keyboard command to hide or show it. Reply to address field command option, off message, submenu. So these are some things um, that can be shown or hidden as you're composing CC. the message. 
All right, we're not going to fill in those fields. CC but, add con uh, let's just edit say CC add subject edit text. Subject. Uh, we'll just type this. Um, hello. From hello. Kirby Allen C H M dot Allen. Uh, no, that's not the address. So one thing on the Mac, it should be set to use my uh, Chanel M by default, but it's very easy if I want to choose, if you're like me and have a million different accounts, you can just view space on this menu. Menu check mark, Herbie Allen CHM. And I can arrow through here. I'm just going to up arrow. Chanel Allen Chanel M dot Allen at gmail dot com. That would be Chanel the address Allen, I want to send from. And then I could type. None. Signature pop up button. Um, Maybe next week when we go through preferences, I'll show you signatures. Edit text. All right, and so then I could just begin typing in here. Hello. Hello. Call new line. Um, what? La, R, oops. You. You. Doing. Doing. Question mark. And there we go. Um, as it, with text edit, we could do command semicolon to spell check. Check document now. Um, it when it says that it doesn't find any errors. You can also set spell check to go off um, or to check automatically once you press send. So um, anyway, let's say I want to add an attachment. New so line. I'll say, Here, here's, here's your here. homework. I wouldn't have Misspelled. to say New that. Line. All right, and let's go find the attachment. In this case, we're going to send the mail focus questions. So you could go into the file menu and you could go to attach, but there's a much neater way of doing this. We're going to go into our finder. Zoom us, finder, finder, desktop. And I'm going to now go to my Mac training folder. It happens to be an alias on my desktop, so I'm just going to type M. Mac recordings, alias. No. Mac um, record boot camp, ACB, Mac, Mac, and Mac there training, we go. alias, so alias. Somehow it skipped over that. Okay. Actions available. But I just did via left and got there. Now I'm going to command down arrow to open, open selection. it. Open Mac training, window. Column view, browser. F for, well, actually, I'm going to right arrow to make sure Attendance, Mac training folder. is open. F for focus questions. Focus questions. Folder. Right arrow. List. One item selected. Option down arrow, because I want to get to the very last item. Lesson 9, mail part 2, RTF. Oh, wait, we're getting ahead of our, we haven't gotten there yet. All right. Lesson 9, mail part 2, dot docs. Office, lesson 8, ma lesson 8, mail part 1, dot docs. Office, and open XML. And we can XML. attach this file with commit, so I'm going to copy it just as if I was pasting it to a different folder on my Mac. So I'm going to command C to copy. Copy lesson eight, mail part one docs. And I'm going to alt, uh, command tab, sorry, command tab. Net mail, hello, window, hello, and new line. It doesn't really matter where you put the attachment. Um, you, I generally put it at the bottom, but it doesn't matter. I'm now going to press command V. Paste. And there's a little bug in Monterey where before it would read the attachment, it would say it was an image, but it doesn't really do that in Monterey. So, hello, what are you doing? Hello, what are you doing? All right, so we doing? need to interact just to, you know, get to the bottom of the message to see New that line. there's... Hello, what are you doing? Here's your, here's your hot work in text. Here's oh your hot work. Somebody, I meant to say here's hot work. Okay. Your hot, miss hot work. Um, Group. New, li New line. Okay. And if we get to the very end there... Period. All it Period. says group. is new line. group, new line. So that's, I know that we've sent, included the attachment. And how do we know? Well, it does say if you uninteract. 19 KB. The, it's 19 KB. And just a couple little sentences wouldn't equal 19 KB. I happen to know that. So then we would do command shift D to send. If you can't remember menu where bar, the Apple. command is to send, Mail, file, you could go edit, looking in view, your mailbox, menu bar. Message. Message. Send command shift D. And there you find it right in the message menu. 19 All right. But we are going to command uh, W. Close. In dialog. Alert. Don't save button. And we could save this as a draft. I don't want save to. Save button. Don't save button. Messages. Table. Unread. All Lori right. McCla the next task is... Actually, saving and viewing attachments. So More to do this, I'm going to enable the message filter. And it's a little bit weird. Um, I, I know you're probably, some of you may want to know what the message filter is anyway. So we'll use it even though it's a bit clunky. So if I press Command L. Enable message filter. 
And then I go over to my toolbar. Vertical split mailboxes, favorites bar, toolbar. And I interact. In toolbar, 16 items, filter, group. And we have to interact in this group. So here we go. In filter, group, two items, filter, menu button. And then we can, so pressing VO space here was kind of iffy earlier. So the most consistent way I found of opening this menu was down arrow. Menu. Disable message filter. Include dimmed. So here's where we choose what we include. Check mark unread. I don't really want unread included, but let's go down to um, before we can exclude anything else, we need to tell it what to include. Flagged, addressed to CC only mail with attachments. And I'll do that. So I'll press enter. Filter menu button. And then I'll just Unfilters go back. Unfilters messages in this mailbox. Down, I'll press down arrow again. Menu. Disable may include dimmed check mark unread. Press enter to um, filter the menu unread. button. And then Unfilters if I messages in this mailbox, uninteract out of, filter, out of here, uninteract again. Out of toolbar. Via right. Favorites bar mailboxes vertical sp messages again. table. And command option up arrow. Unread. Andrew Willens. Bender Virtual Career Fair November 16th, 2000. All right, unread. let's Parade. find John via NFB Ned members list. Net members list legislative alert 11.08.2021. Okay. Yesterday. So attachment. we can, so this definitely has an attachment. And I am going to press enter, our usual command, open the message. Another option we have is the quick look attachments. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, but probably what you will uh, most commonly do is press enter. Net members list. And then I'm going to do command down arrow to get to the very bottom. Link. 40 Gmail to unsubscribe link. Um, to unlist archives link. NF NFB Senate L let's space. Let's see here. Senate L list doc docs attachment. List of house LD contacts doc docs attachment. Underscore underscore okay, underscore. So there's a couple of attachments. Let's say we want to save or look at one of these. I'm just going to view left. List of house LD contacts doc docs attachment. And then, um, Unfortunately, we cannot command C and then command V to paste it back into find. Well, not back into, but um, I have tried that. So what you end up having to do is VO shift M. Menu. List of house LD contacts dot docs attachment. Down arrow. NFB net members list. Senate L list. Well, Rep Grothman. You'd think Glenn, you would. Senate okay. L list doc docs attachment. Let's. No visible title to interact. VO shift menu. M. Open attachment. There we go. And so we have options. We can open. Open with submenu. We can open with. Quick look attachment. Save attachment ellipsis. Save. Save to downloads folder. Share submenu. And so on. Save, um, save so attachment ellipsis. Save. I could view of space. Save attachment. Sa in dialog, save. Send it. And I tags, could. Tag editor. Then I could, send it L Save button. Um, Cancel. Column view. Browser. I am pressing VO left to get into the area where I could choose where to save this. I'm just going to do command shift O for documents list. And then I'm going to press enter to save. Dear Federation. And that's how you can save um, an attachment. And you could have also opened or open with. Um, that's also an option. Close. So let's just Inbox. get out of that. Chanel. Filter and let's Bits. see. 2021 proposed amendments to the bits. All right. So I found another thing we could look at. If we wanted to just quick look attachments, maybe sometimes people send images. And so or some of the things they send in a message are just images that you don't need. Some of the files are genuine text or doc or docs, whatever. So you kind of need to figure out uh, what attachments you might want to keep and which ones you don't want. So one way to do that is to quick look attachments with command Y. Quick look attachments. Quick look window. Bits amendments 21.txt. Quick look window. Bits amendments 21.txt. Text 3.2. Okay, text. so we have open with text edit button. Share file you can button. Choose to open. Bits amendments 21.txt. Full screen button. Bits um, share open with text edit text 3.2. At in 3.2 current wording. 3.2 application so for membership applications for membership shall be submitted to the treasurer the you application can shall look at the um, preview the text of the document unlike using text edit though we can't just use a simple vo i mean we can't just use up and down arrow um, it's not quite as navigable as let's say just working in a regular document would be but it you could do voa specify the type of membership so and whether the or your other reading commands to 
kind of get a general overview of what it has and decide whether you want to save it or not. Inbox, okay. Chanel, filter by so that only mail is, with it. I'm going to now disable the filter with Command L. Disable message filter. And we should be back to Vertical square splitter. one. Messages. Okay, so I know we still have a little bit of time left. And let's talk about searching for a message. Maybe we want to search for, okay, so the book club for iBug is coming up this Thursday. And I don't really remember um, what the book is. I do, but let's say we want to find that message. We can bring up a search by typing Command Option F. Mailbox search. Search text field. Blank. And let's just type in the word Vila. I think it's all menu. uppercase. Um, and notice it's saying menu. So we could actually choose to apply certain rules, like if I down arrow. Subject contains Vila. Vila Book Club, March 14th, 2019. All right, uh, so it's already suggesting some messages here. Subject contains Vila. Um, if I press Vila. enter. Selected. And then we want to VOJ into our search results. Search. In mailboxes, table. In messages, table. Sandhai Rao. I book today events, November 2021. 20, 10 slash so 31 slash 21. View this email in your browser, the upcoming free iBug training and social events. That in our um, inbox. Stand high but iBug Vila Book Club, November 11th, 10 slash 18 slash. Unfortunately, I think it's only searching the inbox. So if you want it to search all mailboxes, what you have to do is go find your favorites. Stand high row. I book I'm today. going to uninteract. Out of message. Vertical split mailbox at favorites bar group. So you interact in the favorites. In favorites bar group. 10 items, toggle sidebar button, search, all, toggle button. And you would select all, press VO space. Selected. And then you have broadened your search. Inbox, Chanel, toggle uh, button. To include all of your mailboxes. All or inboxes, inbox, just, Chanel, um, toggle button, all inboxes, 108, toggle button, all drafts, toggle so button. So these are the favorites, the folders within favorites, uh, the regular favorites folders. All in but inbox, Chanel, to all, selected, toggle button. You basically, when you chose all, you've expanded Out of that favorites search, bar, and so then you could VO Mailboxes, right, vertical splitter, messages, table, or VOJ, whatever. Michael McCulloch, forward, I book today events, November, 23 message conversation, collapsed. Chanel and Sandhya. Interact Santaya. in I here. So it's found things, it's brought that search today now events, November. includes some things from my scent and my trash, uh, because we expanded the search. Okay. But I am, I want to get back to the toolbar and Mailbox clear search. all that out. Vila. Select. And I'm going to collapse my favorites, command option hide shift favorites H, bar. or hide it, hide my toolbar with command hide option toolbar. T, In and then I Box. have my Chanel clean one. interface. Okay, 19, so 59. at this point, I know I'm ending a bit early, but I would like to Finder. find out if anyone has Zoom any us. questions. Zoom and then us. next week, System we will dialogue. conclude by going through other questions you may have thought of. We'll add, a, um, add different mail accounts and go through some of the mail preferences. So Mute all check. at this point, does anyone have you are any sharing questions? Computer this is Doc. Yeah, Doc. Um, earlier, while you were going through when we first opened it, a email, I went and did the same on mine, and noticed that in reading the email, we have some, we have the same functionality that you taught us in text edit, mm -hmm. as far as moving around. Exactly. Yep. That is true. Very good. This is Shree. Yeah, Shree. So um, when you were doing the, um, you know, when you went to VO Shift M and mm -hmm. you went to the, uh, I guess you went to the top and then you did an option up arrow? Just up arrow. Up arrow. Yep. Uh, now, if you, and you said if you're doing a VO up arrow, you just get the ding, right? Right. Now, once you did the, just the up arrow, can you, then do you do VO, VO up arrow? Would that still work or no? That would still work, yeah. Um, okay. 
but it was it's just initially getting it your cursor to move um, <laughs> to kind of the last thing in a menu that so so is that the rule of thumb whenever you get st when you're at the top you can do it the um the up arrow is just applies to here only no it's in general that's what i always do if i want to get to a thing that's closer to the bottom of a menu i'll just always do up arrow um i see okay yeah and then i can keep pressing up arrow or i could press vo up if i really wanted to but uh yeah it's it's just a quicker way of of instead of having to if the menu has like 15 options and you're looking for the 12th one down it's <laughs> easier to mm -hmm. yeah that's a good one. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Well, um, Herbie, as my TA, do you think there's anything else we should cover in this point? Um, I can't think of anything. Did you show sending? I know you recovered uh, receiving attachments. Did you recover sending attachments? Yes, I did. I went yeah, into the I Finder, so. found the mail yep. focus questions, Pacing, and yep. yep. This is free. Yeah. So, uh, just the attachment made me think of something. So, obviously, you said that um, you know the only way we can tell there's an attachment is by the file size, right? That's now, what I found. <laughs> now, if you have multiple attachments, will it at least tell you there's three things in there? with the total size or it'll just say the total size of everything? Um, I just, I think it would say this, cause it kind of, I think it would just say the total size of everything. What it does is if you get to the end of the line, you know, it'll say group, whatever, but that is not very indicative. Um, Herbie, you've done a bit more sending a mail lately. Have you sent more than one attachment, Herbie York? cliff for that i matter. have not um okay, but well. attachments are gonna there's gonna be two things with attachments in general though it's gonna depend on the mail provider and um you know you're gonna find like attachments of like five megs in general are gonna be fine but then let's see start no, really getting... so we're asking about the bug in you know in monterey where it doesn't tell you actually what is being attached once you know it does it. not and even so, with one attachment though it doesn't even do that so right but it, he was asking will it tell you if you have more than one will it at least say three i don't know why it even i don't know why it would since okay. it doesn't even tell you with the one but um let's see here we can because i was just saying enough. i can tell something's attached by looking at the file size and and right, so, but that wouldn't help. Like, say, if I sent two MP3 files, that wouldn't help me. But right, that's so. True. Let's see. We're gonna do this live, so we're going to send uh, Mac Learning Resources. Let's attach that. Okay. And these focus questions look good. Okay, so. So what it does is I'm presented now with a group. Um, that doesn't. Yeah, I'm just presented with a group that I cannot read. Okay. All right. So it just basically just tells you an overall total um, file size. No, I can't even see anything. All I'm seeing is group. And if that's you want to interact and then oh view no, left. let's see message. It's telling me the message size is. It's telling me the overall message size. Uh huh. But it's not telling me anything specific about the attachments or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that, you know, that's a bug that they need to fix in uh, Monterey. Yep. You guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, for some strange reason, my Mac crashed and I couldn't hear anything. Anyways, oh. Chanel, I wanted to point out to you that if you want to move a message, it's command control in the mailbox you want to send it to. So if you're in your inbox, like for instance, yeah, I have a, sorry, I said that wrong. Yeah, it's an import. I have an inbox called uh, mailbox called important, and uh, it's number two. So if I want to move a message there, I just push command control in the number two. Yes. Um, also, the only mailboxes that disappear not permanently but that that are not in your like say if you take them out your favorites if you 
take a mailbox out like say inbox it won't disappear from your list it'll just be in your route but like all all sent all drafts that's the one that you got to kind of play with to get back yeah into your... unfortunately yeah that and that um so yeah um there's a way to get them back but you just gotta know yeah i know how there. to get them back but it's i don't really want to have to put them back every time right you know right. i might want to use them so um yeah no i, I usually leave them move... and just com and, and collapse them and then just you know not even bother with them unless i want to be see what's in there but Right. Well, I used to, it's just, I used to have like, you know, six or seven message or mailboxes that I would, you know, move things to and I could have those all in favorites. Well, uh, since Big Sur, you have to leave some of those other ones in there. So it, I've just, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, they've, they, it actually, they've made it easier to add the favorites, but like you were mentioning, I don't know if it was last week or week before, you got to kind of drag and drop with the VO, the, the the voice, the mouse down command and then voice yeah. up to, to, to reorganize them the way that you want them, but yeah. Right. But yeah, um, yeah, I misspoke. So it's command, control. Con command just moves you, your focus into one of them. Command, control moves a message. And I used to use those frequently, but um, yeah. Anyway, very good. I wonder why they've never fixed that drag and drop method with voiceover, because that hasn't been rel reliable since Lion. No, I would always do the mouse down thing, but I just, I don't really want to have to... It, <sighs> I don't want to have to contend with, I don't know, dragging, um, you know, if I have to keep in all drafts, all sent, right. all trash. The nice thing about it, though, is that, once you that do takes it, it's three done. spots, you know. Yeah, but the nice thing about when you're dragging, you know, with the voice up and the voice, or the mouse up and the mouse down command, once you set them the way they you would like them, you don't really have to ever do it again. No, you don't. But what I meant is it takes away, you can't put, when you have to leave in those, you know, certain all sent, all whatever, it takes it takes three spots away from Oh, yeah, you. yeah, you're right, you're right. Yep, so that's does. why I've stopped using it, because it's just, it's not, it, uh, yeah, I, I like to have all my spaces. I know I'm just weird that way, but I, it's easy enough for me to do VOM or VO shift M up arrow twice to move to right arrow and then first letter navigation. It's a little bit, you know, I also, I had set keyboard commands because you can go to um, the move to menu, you know, in the message menu in the menu bar move to, and then if you find your mailbox there so i had one for chanel so i in preferences you can go to the keyboard and then to shortcuts and then add and i you know had set one for chanel or uh whatever mac training but those would work intermittently sometimes they would work sometimes they wouldn't so anyway and i'm probably getting over and this everyone is else's head. just mentioning we had some background noise so please guys um i don't know if it was cliff's end or no i'm else. sorry my i had unmuted myself and then i got a scam call and i i wasn't by the i i didn't realize i didn't uh, even, so okay. i'm so sorry yep you're fine Harvey, you when are you gonna question? learn that you can't blame me for anything everything <laughs> Well, I truly I try I to be careful I didn't, of that. I didn't but... blame you. I just said I did not know because yeah. there were several people unmuted, so I couldn't well, tell I, who I had take, the background Well, I, I take full responsibility. It was a scam call, and I'm sick of them. All right. Well, then, just just for the Medicare. record, and, 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 and for the record, I'm not blaming Cliff, so I think we're all good. All this right. is Shree. Yeah, Shree. So one of the questions, um, you did, when you were on the inbox, mm -hmm. if, let's say if I want to search for, because typically what I've done for searches, you know, I would go to the toolbar and I'd be a right arrow to search and yep. type in who I'm looking for. But you said that I could actually just type in, if I want to search for Herbie, I can just type in H-E-R. Um, so I did command option F. That's the same as clicking that toolbar button. Um, okay. Yeah. If you want to search. Oh, so if you're trying to search for a message, um, yeah. if you're trying to, if you're trying to compose, yeah, you could just do command N, type in his name, you know, and then, yeah, it would bring up um the no. first yeah i'm talking about in the mailboxes so that, you know you have a list of all your messages right 
And if yeah. I want to search, let's say for your mail, could I oh, type in Chanel? Yeah, you could actually. That's right. Yeah. If, if I, because I was kind of doing that. So yeah, if you type in, start typing in C-H or H-E, um, yeah, it would take you to messages with beginning with those letters. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is Cliff. Uh-huh. Is there a way to define whether you want to search by name? subject or you know i've not found a way i, I maybe I, it's just kind of a fluke i stumbled on because i can't do that in outlook and so it's like one you know one of many things i can do on the mac um <laughs> and uh it's very handy if you know i i don't think i've gotten it to work by subject but i'll have to try it again Am I to assume this, that once, I'm sorry, this is Cliff, am I to assume that once this class is over, we'll be automatically removed from the student's email list or whatever that is? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, uh, this is Shree. Mm -hmm. So, instead of typing Chanel, could I have typed something in this, that would have been in the subject line? Let's just say, um, I don't know, I bug. Let's see. Um, I don't, let me, I can try. Um Let's see if we go into my inbox. Like, type in like cafe or something, or something that's being a subject. Um. Well, I did type in IB, and it did go Sandha route or Sand. I know her name is Sandia. I bug night at the virtual movies. Um. Mm. So that was kind of yeah. I guess you would just Herbie. Have you played around with that? you know, being able to use first letter navigation. So just trying to do first letter navigation in mail, you mean? Like in yeah. The... <sighs> no, because I usually don't know what I'm looking for. Um, right. Well, if it's a message I've saved and I want to get to it quickly. Yeah. Like, or I was just typing AC for, you know, the ACB. Yeah, what else could I see. type? Um um, let me think. I don't know. The one thing you're going to run into with the first letter navigation, I can tell you, is it's going to go in order of your cursor. So, for instance, I have a Nancy and I have a Nick. And I was in between the two. So then I first hit N and it brought up Nick, who was further down the list. Yeah, but if you and typed then, N-A. But, and then if I typed an N-A, it took me to the next N-A and it did not go back up to Nancy. So Okay. That's what I'm saying. See. It's going to continue to go further right. down. So you need to know your cursor position and who, depending on what you're looking for, but it will work. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yes. No. So you're that. saying it, it, it's, it goes from the, wherever you the cursor is towards the bottom. Yes. It doesn't look for anything up. Okay. No, it does not look up. Okay. Though I find the true first letter navigation on the Mac in general, so that's not unique to mail. Um, I will point that out that, you know, with a lot of the first letter navigation that you can do on the Mac, that's, you know, it's not unique to mail. Um, that the cursor goes from where you're at downwards and it does not go back up. I wonder if it would if you have, if I had cursor wrapping on, but I don't think even with that, that mail yeah. would go from the bottom to the top. I think it, it, is, it is static Excellent. regardless, so. Actually, if you're in, it does in Dropbox. Right. Okay. Mine does not, but. And um. Because I've gotten myself really in trouble a couple times where I, when it was further down on the list, and I wanted my nine eight six the mix folder, and I hit the number, and it won't do anything, so I have to uh, go back to the top of the list. So, I was. Yeah. Um, this is Shri. Oh, before I forget. Okay, so Doc and then Shri. Um. Mr. Hervey. Your movie is going to be on Family Times this Saturday. All right. Kirby goes to Mon Monte Carlo. Okay. All well, right. that is not quite relevant to the class. <laughs> I think that's awesome. But Oh, I think it is because I was thinking using the <laughs> techniques that we've taught, Doc is going to show us how he can use Safari to A, find the movie listing, B, watch the movie. I think we okay. can make it relevant to the class. Yeah. Okay. But for the, for this particular class... I wanted to get your view on whether the preview should be hidden or visible. Preview and, if, and what app? 
in, oh, the, in, in mail. In, in mail. mail. Yeah, yes, yeah. Because in your I did in I looked at the at the at the suggested reading and he said if you expect to to see or hear the unread when you arrow to a to a message mm -hmm. that preview should be off otherwise it will be just as soon as you yep arrow and to that's it, what i did i collapsed that um splitter and that turned it off that made it so that the you know the message would not be marked i think it's something in yeah, in um, well, it's the same thing in, it happened in, in the in Windows too. That, that in Windows though, you had an extra danger because if there was any kind of critter that was in that message, with the preview being on, you already opened it. Right. Well, this I don't think it. Yeah, it's a little different. Um, yeah. So I think Shri had something. So. Um, you know, going back to this, um, using the shortcuts. Mm -hmm. So if you're in, let's say you were in the third or fourth, or let's, I don't know, 15th email list, you said doing um, control option up arrow will take you to the first command option on the top. up arrow. Yep. Oh, command option up arrow. Okay. Yeah. That's why it wasn't working. I was trying it. Okay. Yeah. Command option up arrow. This is okay. Cliff. Mm -hmm. Now, I've always known about the collapse in the preview to make the message on red, but what I haven't experimented with, because I just fixed this in Big Sur, because it did not work in Catalina and before. When, like, for instance, I don't like to hear one or two or three lines when I'm hearing a message. Even in Catalina, when you would have it set to none, it would still read a preview. And Big Sur finally doesn't do that. So if you still take that um, vertical splitter or whatever it is up to 100, and you have a preview of the message read in those three lines. It is still going to say on red then? Yeah. Okay. Even if the use call it, the, it, yeah. If you don't want the preview or any sort of thing, uh, check use column layout. And that'll, you know. Go oh, yeah. I, I hate so that layout. What I was but, so I like, but I do like the fact that it does not. It would that it says unread and i mean because they used to bother me because i would go past three or four messages not want to read them at the time but then when i would go to my phone they would already you know be marked as red so that that was a right. big help there but the column view has nothing to do with that right right yeah it's the that vertical splitter that you were right. talking about yeah so i just want to mention that a few of our students if they want to have not had an opportunity to talk and also sarah came in a little bit late so i don't know if she you have any questions or not but want to make sure that uh you know people that have not had a chance to get an opportunity to uh, say something yep and if not that's fine too we're not trying to put anyone on the spot well this is Shree. yeah I definitely learned a lot today, especially these shortcuts that I, you know, I'm, like I said, I, I travel the, the long way if you're doing the GPS navigation, you're teaching me how to fly like the crow, you know. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so it's very good. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Well, I think since we are a few minutes over, but I know I didn't get started right on the dot, so I was letting everybody, um, where running a little behind, but I wanted to, hopefully this has been helpful and we have next week. So if you think of any questions then, next week we'll just cover adding accounts and going through some of the mail preferences and then uh, the following week will be Macintosh. So thanks for coming everyone. I've thank enjoyed you, having you in class. Yep, thank you and uh, good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you, Chanel. Thank you, Elvia.